uh, hi everyone so today we will discuss about uh, login functionalities so i'll create a function uh, login function with the parameters and without parameters yeah we will see separate separately i'll create i'm going to create those test cases okay so one second Okay, I'm creating the folder. I'm creating one more folder. Login test class. Okay. Login. First file I'll create here. Login test. without okay login test i will create one test case login test here only dot cy dot js okay A reference types equal to escape press Describe block. Login test. So I'm going to create my first test case is a login test. Login test of it. Out. Without um, and parameters, parameters and function. See why not visit is a comment to launch the application here i'm going to work today with orange hrm demo dot orange hrm live application now we will check the functionality so, so admin is the username admin one two three is the password say admin I'm giving username and the password. Click on login. So we will verify. We'll capture one element here, and we will verify login is successful or not. We'll check it. So whether user navigated to dashboard page or not. This is the dashboard page, right? So we will test it. Okay, I'm passing this URL. Now see why dot get the element so first i need to get the element of username capture this element see here there are totally one this is the html tag right input is the html tag one two three four so this element is defined with four attributes it contains four properties so it contains property name and the property value, or you can say attribute name and the attribute value. So if I go with the class, class always will not be unique. Control me. So we'll prefix with the dot right. Our class always will not be unique. One, two, one, two, three. So there are some unique elements. We can go with unique elements. So I can go with name. This is password. I have name. Element of username is name. Username. Yeah just put control in so i am identifying the element with any of the attribute okay name, name property name is name right 
Now it is interesting. Get this element. Get this element. Dot type. What is type? Admin. So I am typing admin. Now I get the element for password. Save dot get. Name password. Name already is there. Name password. So this element is matching. One of one is matching. Right? You can identify here. Dot type. Admin one two three. Okay. Now this is this is a normal test case. And adding a normal test case otherwise what i can login test no? similar this login test over it and login test explanation okay explanation side is Okay, login test. So I can say it's a direct method. I'll just copy here. Just take out this one. And go to add one to one side. Right? Okay. Just to log in. Login scenario. Okay. Login scenario. So now, see if I not get the element of button, right? Either click or login button. So here, what is the name of the button? This is the login button. Okay. Capture this element. It is having class as well as uh, other other properties, but I will go with the type. Okay. Here we can provide button. I equal to submit. Say one of one element is matching. Don't click, just perform the click action. Same After login. After clicking, it will navigate to this page, right? Admin. Admin one, two, three. So capture this element or this this icon. Anything. Just make sure this element is visible. So image, right? This is image. Control it. Image of photo. See one of the image is no? This image I am saying that this image should be visible in the dashboard page. Cy dot get this element. This is a validation. This is a validation. Now we are adding this element should be b dot visible okay now if this element is visible then you can provide some user defined message dot log login to the application it is successful okay so this is our test case now Okay, so open the site press and get site press open.
I have added a login test, right? Under this, we are creating login test server file. Just click on it. It's a direct scenario, so I have not added any functions here. Okay. So it logged in successfully, right? See, login scenario executed. Visited the command, these elements typed. Here it clicked and it navigated to here. This element it checked. So yeah, the assertion is passed. Uh, the assertion is successfully executed and with the element is visible. And this is the user defined message login is successful. See, so this login is successful. So this is a direct scenario. So this is one 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 of the login scenario. Okay. One of the login scenario. I hope you understood this. Yes.